A polar molecule is one where there is an excess of electrons on either the positive or negative side in the molecule. The molecule is slightly positive at one end and slightly negative at its opposite end. A non-polar molecule is one where the electrons are distributed more symmetrically and thus do not have an abundance of charges at the opposite sides. The charges cancel each other out. Let us understand how polar and non-polar substances mix. Here we have potassium permanganate crystals, iodine crystals, carbon tetrachloride solution and water. Take two beakers and pour equal quantities of water in them. Now take two beakers and pour equal quantities of carbon tetrachloride in them. Now put some potassium permanganate crystals in the carbon tetrachloride solution. Add some potassium permanganate to the water. Now put iodine crystals in the carbon tetrachloride solution. Add some iodine crystals to the water. Observe the colors in the beaker. The potassium permanganate crystals do not dissolve in carbon tetrachloride, but the iodine crystals easily color the carbon tetrachloride solution violet. In water, the potassium permanganate crystals readily diffuse and give a pink color, while the iodine crystals do not dissolve in water. Iodine and carbon tetrachloride are both nonpolar, so the liquids dissolve the solid. Water does not dissolve the iodine because water is a polar liquid. Similarly, potassium permanganate and water are polar in nature, so it dissolves in water. But potassium permanganate does not dissolve in carbon tetrachloride as the solution is non-polar in nature. So now you know that polar substances mix only with other polar substances, while non-polar substances mix only with non-polar ones.